subscribe to my youtube channel passionate piping engineer and also press the bell icon to get the latest notification of the upcoming videos friends welcome back to my youtube channel passionate piping engineer in this video we will learn about the pipe fittings that are used for changing the pipe or line sizes this video is the third part of the pipe fitting series if you have missed any of the parts of the pipe fitting video series i would recommend you to check those out as i have shared the link in the description box below please go through all the previous Let's begin this video by a revised look on the question what are pipe fittings this is for our viewers who are new to our channel rest and skip the video directly to the main topic but it is advisable to get yourself revised with the question what are pipe fittings what are pipe fittings pipe fittings are fabricated pieces of pipes that are used to make a change of direction that is elbows to take a branch from a main pipe run that is t or to make a reduction in the line size in the previous two parts of the pipe fitting videos we have seen the pipe fittings used to change the direction and pipe fittings used for branching from a main pipe run if you have missed both the parts of the pipe fitting videos i have shared the link in the description box below please go through both the parts as this is the third video in the series of the pipe fitting videos the topic of our video is pipe fitting used for changing the line size or we can say to make a reduction in the line size start the topic of this video that is pipe fitting that are used to change the line sizes so first let's see which pipe fittings are used to change the line or pipe sizes first one is reducers and second is switches only these two fittings are widely used to change the line sizes in the whole industrial piping reducers reducers is a standard fitting used for connecting two different pipe sizes or line sizes for example 8 inch pipe nps to 6 inch nps or 4 inch nps pipe they are also used for change in the pipe sizes to meet the flow requirement classification of reducers we have two type of reducers first we have is a concentric reducer and second one we have is a eccentric reducers concentric reducers are further classified as butt welded reducers socket welded reducers and threaded reducers eccentric reducers we have only butt welded reducers see first type of the reducer that is concentric reducers concentric reducer concentric reducer are used to maintain the center line of the two different line sizes as we can see in the adjacent figure which shows the cross sectional view of concentric reducer that has only one center line and intersect both the large and the small pipe diameters concentric reducers are most commonly used in the vertical lines to maintain the center line of the pipes or lines concentric reducers are generally or we can say more commonly used in the discharge line of a pump now let us see the first type of the concentric reducer it is butt welded concentric reducer butt welded concentric reducer have both the ends beveled for connecting bevel large bore pipes as shown in the cross sectional view they are used to connect two large bore lines or pipes that is uh, the line size about 2 inch nps for example we can say it as 8 inch nps to 6 inch or 4 inch nps as we have seen previously dimensional standard for butt welded concentric reducer we have is the smeb 16.9 second type of the concentric reducer we have is socket welded concentric reducer socket welded concentric reducer are in the form of the full coupling with socket on both its end they are also called as reducing coupling its one end is so formed to fit the large diameter plane and pipe whereas the other to fit the small diameter plane and pipe or nipple they are used up to line size 1.5 inch nps but available up to 4 inch nps as per the standard dimensional standard for socket welded concentric reducers or reducing coupling is asmeb 16.11 the one in the concentric reducer we have is threaded concentric reducer threaded concentric reducer are also in the form of full coupling with both its end as uh, female threads it is so formed that its one end fits the large diameter plain threaded pipe whereas other to fit the small diameter threaded pipe or nipple threaded concentric reducers are usually up to size 1.5 inch nps but also available to 4 inch nps as per the standards dimensional standard for threaded concentric reducer or threaded reducer coupling is asmeb 16.11 see the second main type of the reducer which is a centric reducer eccentric reducer eccentric reducers are used to maintain the side of the pipe as we can see in the figure that shows the cross sectional view of the eccentric reducer here we have two center lines one of the larger diameter and other of the smaller diameter eccentric reducers can be used or we can say oriented as flat side down that is fsd and flat side up that is fsu reducer the offset in the cross sectional view can be calculated as offset in the reducer is equal to od of the larger diameter pipe 
minus the OD of the smaller diameter pipe divided by 2. The dimensional standard for eccentric reducer is ASME B16.9. The eccentric reducer can be oriented either flat side down that is FSD or flat side up that is FSU. Let us see how and where they are used. Eccentric flat side down reducer. Eccentric flat side down reducers are used to maintain the downside or BOP that is bottom of the pipe if the line is horizontal and BOP that is back of the pipe if the line is vertical for ease of supporting. As we can see in the figure, the bottom of the pipe is maintained or matching or supporting purpose. Flat side down reducers are also used in the control station SMD to get a constant flow through a control valve without any or less flow disruption. As we can see in the figure, eccentric flat side up reducer. Eccentric flat side up reducer are used to maintain the upside of the pipe and are used in the pump suction line to avoid cavitation. But what is cavitation? Let us now see in brief what is cavitation and how the eccentric flat side up reducers are used to avoid cavitation. What is cavitation? Cavitation is defined as the formation of the sudden collapse of cavities such as vapor bubbles in a fluid flow. This is related to pump because a pump is designed to handle liquids not vapor. So the emolding or collapsing of the vapor bubbles trigger intense shock wave inside the pump causing significant damage to the impeller and further the pump housing. By using a concentric reducer can create a sudden collapse similarly with the eccentric flat side down reducer can also create the same problem. This problem can be avoided by using a flat side up reducer as shown in the figure. Let's move forward to our next fitting that is used for joining two different pipe sizes. The next fitting is we have swedge or swedge nipple, swedges. As we have seen in the case of the reducer which are used for reducing the line sizes that is joining two different pipe sizes but the reducer have some limitations that is reduction in the reducers are available only up to half of the larger diameter and below and below one size of the larger size. Now in the case of swedge, the functions of reducing the line size is similar to the reducer but the swedges are used for sudden reduction in the line sizes which means they are used for joining large bore or bevel ended pipe to small bore or plain ended or threaded pipe. Instead of welding number of reducers with nipples or different end pipes with socket welded or threaded reducers often called as reducing coupling swedges are used as an alternative to reduce when the greater reductions are required. Swedges are available in the wide combination of ends like bevel end both sides, plain end both sides, threaded both sides and bevel end one side, other side plain end or threaded. We will look at this point later at the end. Dimensional standard Dimensional standard for swedges is MSS SP95. MSS SP is Manufacturer Standardization Society of Standard Practices. See the classification of swedges. As in the case of the reducer, we have concentric and eccentric shape reducers. Just similar to that, we have concentric and eccentric shapes swedges. These are further divided according to the end preparations. So let us see the first type of the swedges that is concentric swedge. Concentric swedge. Just like the definition of the swedges, the concentric swedge are used for sudden reduction of the butt welded that is large bow pipes to socket welded or threaded pipes that is small bow pipes. But by maintaining the center line of the two connecting lines or pipes that is very clear in the adjacent figure. See the second shape of the swedges that is eccentric swedge. Eccentric swedge. Eccentric swedge are used for sudden reduction of butt welded that is large bow pipes to socket welded or threaded pipes that is small bow pipes but by maintaining the top or bottom of the two connecting lines or pipes that is very clear in the adjacent figure. In the other words we can say that the eccentric swedges are used to maintain the side of the pipe whether it is top or the bottom. They are available and are used they are available and used with butt welded, socket welded and threaded configuration. And when used with this configuration and when used with this configuration, swedges have different end preparations. So let's discuss about them. One point here is here I am showing only eccentric reducers to show all the end preparation, but they are also available in both eccentric as well as in the concentric shapes. So the available end preparation in the swedges are BBE bevel both ends, PBE that is plain both ends, TBE that is threaded both ends, BLE slash PSE that is bevel large end or plain small end, other one is BLE slash TSE that is bevel large end or threaded small end, PLE or TSE that is plain large end or threaded small end, 
Switches with both end bevel are available for direct connecting to butt welded fittings or bevel ended pipes. As socket welded switches have plain ends on both sides to get inserted into the socket of fittings or one side plain end and other side beveled end for butt welded fittings with the large bore ends as we can see in the image. Whereas threaded switches have male thread ends on the both the sides to get inserted into the thread fittings or one end threaded and other end beveled ends for butt welding with the large bore pipes or fittings as we can see in the image. I hope you have understood the topic of this video as I have tried to break down all the fittings that are used for changing the line sizes or pipe sizes with their cross sectional views. It is very important for all the fresher piping engineers or designers or draftsmen. So this video is the third part of the pipe fitting series. More are yet to come. Thanks for watching this video and if you like the content of my video, please do not forget to hit the like button and share it with your friend because sharing also increases our own knowledge. And yes, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel Passionate Piping Engineer. Also press the bell icon below to get the latest notification of our upcoming videos. Till then stay tuned and take care.